So how many shares of Google stock do you need today to retire by 2030? Google or Alphabet is one of the most top valued company in the world and most likely will stay that way for the next decades to come. So knowing that, you already know that retiring on Google is completely possible. Hey guys, I'm Curious Pidgey and I'm a very curious person. I'm curious to know how many shares of Google do I need today to retire as soon as possible and start enjoying life by 2030. You know, entering my brand new mansion with my brand new Lamborghini Huracan or a Tesla Roadster. Ah, oh, that's the dream. Anywho, I got to work and the results are pretty interesting. So let's get down to it. But first, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. So the first thing that we need to find out is how much our monthly expenses is going to be by 2030. Doing a little bit of the research, the average monthly expenses in North America today is over $5,000 a month, which is crazy. That's $60,000 a year, and that's just expense. So that's just insane. But after doing some more research, it seems like this is for a family of two, which makes more sense. But in this video, let's be selfish, and let's say you have your own goal, and you want to retire individually. Individually, all on Google stock well then you're in luck because the average monthly expense drops down from 5,000 to about 3,200 bucks a month so about 40,000 a year which is honestly so much better than 60,000 a year now obviously this is how much it is today 3,200 bucks in a monthly expense for one person to live off all by themselves is how much it costs on a monthly expenses today that's gonna be a whole lot different in 2030 because of inflation so we're gonna be adding 3% on top of that and by 2030 the monthly expense is around around 4,000. Well, 4,020, but let's just say 4,000 for simplicity. Let's also say that you don't want to live on a minimum lifestyle. You still want to go ahead and have your vacations, go out a bit. So we're going to slap one, another thousand to that, and let's say 5,000 a month. So 5,000 a month in 2030 is a life that you guys can live and retire and have a little bit of fun. And note, not for luxury. If you guys want luxury, you may have to double this number. But we just want to live life and enjoy, not get too fancy and just, you know, enjoy life a bit. By the way, inflation might not even be 3% every single year from now to 2030. It could be close to 2%, but keeping things conservative. Now, let's say by 2030, you decide to sell your entire Google stock position. I want to put it somewhere safe, like for example, the S&P 500, which pretty much guarantees you an 8 to 10% return annually. But let's say 7% to be conservative. Now, that number that's needed to be sold out of Google stock to put in the S&P 500 needs to be $850,000 in order for you to live off of it for the next 40 to 50 years, which is quite a long time. One calculator says 48 years and the other one says 46. So we know that mid to late 40 years is a good reliable time frame for $850,000 with an average rate of return of 7% yearly. Now let me make something perfectly clear because I get a lot of comments on my previous retirement videos. The 7% is adjusted to inflation and we also took 3% inflation every single year. So I think this is really conservative. Another important thing to note is that in reality, the S&P 500 doesn't always give you 8 to 10 or 7% return annually or every single year. Some years can be negative and some years can be beyond 10%. But in reality, when we look at it for the past 100 years, that is the return, 8 to 10% is the return that we get. And also regarding taxes, because a lot of you guys have been asking that too, obviously we do have to pay taxes. And when you guys do sell out your position in 2030 from the Google stock to the S&P 500, there is a tax to be paid. But that's based entirely on your income. So because of that, it does get complicated because it is different for everybody. So that's not included in here. Another way you guys can look at it is that you've maxed out your Roth IRA or your TFSA, right? Bruh. But now that we have our monthly expense budget and how much we need to live off of it, let's go see how many shares we need today to retire off Google. Let's go. So here's my little simplified, extremely simplified, really, retirement stock for Google. To briefly go over it, right now the stock price is around 2300, maybe 2400 bucks per share, but I rounded it up to 2500 bucks per share. And because there's a 20 for 1 split coming in sometime in June or July or sometime in the summer, that's also adjusted here too. So right now the stock price is pretty much at 125 bucks per share. So if you guys are watching this after June, 
yes, the price is 125 bucks per share. So briefly going over the chart, we have the total revenue, the net income, the shares outstanding, the EPS, the PE, the average growth year over year, Google stock price, adjusted 20 for one stock split price, the market cap, shares that's needed now, shares how much you need now after the 20 for one split, what the shares are gonna be valued today and what that value is gonna be by 2030. So starting off with the bear case, average growth year over year is about 14 and a half percent. And I got this number and this video, the updated Google stock price by 2030. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. You know exactly how I did things. So I put the bear case as this. Base case, I bumped it up to 20% growth year over year, which gives us a net income of almost 344 billion. And in the bull case, it's a 25% growth year over year, which would give us almost half a trillion dollars in net income, which is absolutely crazy. But what can I say? Google themselves are pretty crazy. But anywho, what's important here is the PE, it's all 25. So this way we do stay conservative in a way. Now let's go ahead and talk about the stock price, what the stock prices are going to be for the bear case based case and the bull case and in the bear case we have a stock price of 8844 bucks per share adjusted to that is about 442 bucks per share and a market cap of almost 6 trillion 5.6 trillion which honestly right now google is almost at the 2 trillion mark so two and a half x by 2030 i think google could do a lot better than that which is why i put the base case at 20 percent growth and we get a stock price of over 13,500 bucks per share and a stock price of 675 bucks with a market share of almost 8.6 trillion dollars now this is a bit more realistic to me i do see google being around that valuation at that time and i'll explain to you why at the end and in the bull case with a 25 percent growth year over year we get a stock price of 19,500 bucks per share or almost a thousand bucks adjusted for 20 for one split and a market cap over 12 trillion dollars which is absolutely crazy but let's go ahead and see how crazy little shares or a lot of shares you need to retire off google how many shares you need today but first smash that like button for me because it's gonna get real spicy Let's go. So the bear case, the shares that you need now is 96 shares, which is not a lot of shares, but when we split that by 20, it's about 1922 shares. I mean, that's a lot of shares. And that comes of a value of $240,000 today. That's how much you need to put in to be worth $850,000 by 2030. I mean, that's not pocket change. Quarter of a million dollars is not pocket change. I don't think any of us have quarter of a million dollars lying around to plow into Google stock. I don't think that's realistic at all. But luckily, this is just a bear case. Let's see the base case at a 20% year-over-year growth, and we get 63 shares, which is a whole lot better than 96. But after split, you need 1,258 shares, which is quite a lot of shares. But the value of that is a whole lot less than the bear case, and the value of that is $157,000. I mean, again, it's not pocket change, but it's a whole lot better than a quarter of a million dollars maybe one sixth of a million dollars that needs to be invested today to be worth $850,000 by 2030. But again, I don't think we all have $150,000 cash just sitting around to just plow into a Google stock, especially around this time where everything is so very volatile. Prices can come lower maybe in the next three to six months. But if that happens, you can reach the shares a lot easier. But anywho, let's go see what the bull case is at 25% year over year growth. And we all hope this becomes true because all you need is 44 shares, which equals to 872 shares after the 20 for one split with a value of $109,000, which is a whole lot better than a quarter million, whole lot better than one sixth of a million. You just gotta pay up one tenth of a million today now to, you know, for that to be worth $850,000 by 2030. Not pocket change, but if you got it, well, there you go. If the bull case becomes true. Now, personally, personally, what I think could happen by 2030, I think base case is a pretty strong scenario for Google. I think base case does make sense. And the reason why I say that is because Google has a lot of things going on for itself. And one of the most important thing that Google is doing is the SpaceX and Starlink project with SpaceX. And that is huge, but we'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, guys, in my opinion, all you need, in my opinion alone, is between 60 to 65 shares pre-split and post-split 1,258 shares to retire on Google 
by 2030 to get the value of $850,000. Now again, this is only a prediction and a prediction only. Nobody knows what's going to happen to Google in the next eight years from now. Not me, not you, not financial advisors, not analysts, nothing. Who knows, maybe another startup comes up that disrupts Google themselves and they go bankrupt. Nobody knows, so take this video with a grain of salt. But I gotta say, Google is one strong heck of a company. That's all. Now, the thing with Google, personally, I don't own any shares of Google. That's because I'm going all in into Tesla. But Google is a very strong, fundamented company and a very hard one to compete with. If you guys want a deep and detailed information to Google on how strong and fundamented and how diverse they are, check out this video. It's packed with information and things that you should know. Other than Google or Alphabet owning the internet because they pretty much at this point own the entire internet, Google, YouTube, pretty much is owned by Alphabet. But let's put aside what everything Google is doing and let's focus on one of the most important things that they're working on now and that's a deal with Starlink. Well, the deal has already been made, it's just that revenue and profit is what really gets me excited. You see, Starlink's goal is to have internet all around the world, wherever you are. In the middle of the Sahara Desert, Desert, you have fast 5G internet. In the middle of Antarctica, you have fast 5G internet speed. Like, it's all about access to internet. And in the world we're living now, internet is a very strong commodity. Without the internet, man, I don't know how we're gonna live. In fact, our lives depend on the internet. If that goes, that's like cutting off a very important vital of life, like cutting off water or food. This is how internet has really integrated into our society, into our lives. So it's really important. And the fact that Google is hosting Starlink's service, that paves a long and strong way for heavy profits for Google. We still don't know how much Google is charging Starlink for them to use their cell towers all around the world, but we know that it's not cheap. I mean, when Starlink is charging you 100 bucks or 110 bucks a month to use Starlink, you can imagine how much of that pie is going to Google. So yeah some good stuff. So that's why I'm strongly bullish in Google stock, but I'm not as bullish on Google as I am with Tesla. Which by the way, if you guys are a Tesla investor, check out how many shares you need to invest today to retire by 2030. And trust me, the number is pretty shocking. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe guys, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.